Hey, hey, it is Victoria Victoria and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over with you guys everything that I'm doing to, if you hear sound in the background, it's a school bus driving by. But anyway, I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I'm doing to maintain my weight to be 40 pounds down, a little bit over 40, but because I started this off at 178, that was holding a camera, maybe 177. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys everything that I've been doing to maintain my weight loss, to keep the weight loss off, to keep off the fat, to keep myself motivated, just to keep going with this entire weight loss journey. So right now, I've lost all of the weight that I wanted to lose, but now I want to start toning up, firming up. Like I just wanna be nice and curvy, firm and toned. So. As you guys know, how I started this is I first cut out sugars, all sugars, any sugar forming foods, anything that was going to convert or turn into sugar, I cut it out. Another thing, as you guys already know, is I made sure to focus on nutrient dense foods, or if you're new here, I made sure to focus on nutrient dense foods. I didn't have any other restrictions outside of the sugar restriction, other than making sure I had my heavier meals during the day and my lighter meals at night. And the reason I did that is because it makes it so it's easier for your body to burn off those calories throughout the day, as opposed to having a heavy meal at night, sleeping on that, and then that turning into fat. But other than that, I focused on nutrient dense foods and I cannot stress this enough. That has helped me so much in my journey because when you do that, what happens is your body is getting all of the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the proper proteins, getting that into your body, allowing your body to assimilate those nutrients. And when you do that, you're not hungry <laughs> because your body is satisfied. So I focused on making sure I had my vegetables, making sure I had the proper vitamins, making sure I was eating the proper proteins. And I have that in my last video. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll make sure to link it below. And I also am starting to understand my body because I've lost the weight that I wanted to lose. Like I told you guys, now I'm more so focused on toning up. But what I never knew, and which I know now, is that you have to lose the weight first. Like you have to lose that fat because no matter how many sit-ups you do or how many squats you do, it doesn't matter. If there's fat there, what's gonna happen is your muscle kind of sits under fat and the fat is still going to protrude. It's still gonna be there. So you do have to burn that fat. But while you're doing squats, while you're doing sit-ups, it do does burn calories. But you wanna also make sure that you're changing your diet and you're understanding your body. What's helped me a lot with understanding my body is this Hume Body Pod. It tells you everything there is to know about your body. It's really cool. They sent this out to me for review and I love it. I've been using it for, I wanna say the past couple months now. And what, what it does is it's kind of like a scale. It is a scale, but it also tells you everything that's going on with your body composition. So it tells you about your body mass index. It tells you your visceral fat. It tells you um, everything that's going on in regards to your muscle mass to fat ratio, which I never paid attention to before. It's like a whole science to it. And it tracks where you are with your progress. So basically, like I said, it's like a skill. You stand on it, you hold, You it comes with this cord, you pull it up and it tells you everything it is based on your age, your height, your weight, and then it tracks it and it keeps score for you so you can pick up and know exactly where you left off. All right, y'all, so here's my body scan. It's my little personal information. <laughs> but this app is allowing me to understand my body through AI, letting me know exactly where my body is right now. I could do it in body scan like this at the gym, but that costs like $100 per session, and this one is 98% just as effective, and this I can do at home. So it helps me track my body fat. It tells me when my body fat is up and my body fat is down, when my muscle mass is up and when my muscle mass is down, and I'm really, really focused on muscle mass, like I told you guys, because I'm really trying to get that. I don't wanna look too, I don't wanna look like a man, but I wanna look firm while looking soft. So it's really important for me to know my body composition and this is what this thing really helps me. Like how I look right now, I haven't looked this way since I was in my teens. So I am just, this is probably the 
first time I have been able to really stick to a weight loss journey probably ever. And it has been so easy for me because I have such a strict routine that I'm following that is not hard to follow. So although it's strict, it's not something that is filled and surrounded by a lot of restrictions. So like I said, I'm all I'm doing right now is I'm making sure that I'm eating nutrient dense foods and that I am not overeating and I'm eating my heavier meals during the day and my lighter meals at night. How easy is that? And then also what I've been doing is making sure to incorporate because I used to focus more on Pilates, those types of things. I'm really starting to learn my body in different ways. I'm starting to learn different movements with different exercises. I'll link some below, but um, just don't like curtsy squats. I hadn't even heard of that before because I want to, I'm focusing on my hip dips so I can have this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another thing that helped me out a great deal is setting a specific bedtime because in the past, I never went to bed. I didn't go to bed when I was sleepy. I went to bed when I was at a point of exhaustion. And then when I woke up the next day, I would be really tired and unmotivated. Now I go to sleep a set bedtime at night. Well, I have to be in the bed by 9.30. And when I, when I wake up the next day, I have so much more energy. So make sure you're setting a, a good bedtime for yourself because sleep is very important, especially if you're working out because that's when your muscle repairs itself it's in its sleep. And then your body also um, recovers in your sleep. And then another thing that I did I'm doing to maintain is making sure to never overeat. My mom told me this a long time ago. She read this book called Fit for Life and that's the diet that she follows. It works really well. It's food combining but I could never really stick to it. I have in the past and um, only because I like sandwiches. <laughs> you can't have carbs and proteins together on that particular diet but anyway in that book which is it's never it was not a weight loss book it was originally a healing book to keep the body alkalized and it works really well um, if you are suffering from some type of medical condition so just to put that out there it's called fit for life and it's by harvey diamond but in that book because i digress in that book there is four pages that literally on all four pages is do not overeat do not overeat do not overeat do not overeat for four pages it says that and not overeating has been helping me out a great deal. You stop not when you're full, right before you're full. But other than that, what I've also did to help maintain, and this is a very specific thing for me, and it's not really to maintain, but it's to help me have a healthy mindset around my workouts is I realized that going to a, a gym with both women and men was distracting to me because I felt like men were watching me people coming up asking for my phone number making small conversation it distracts me from being able to comfortably work out is is that just me is it like I, none of my friends have this issue but i joined an all women's gym and it has made such a huge difference for me because now i can relax i can focus on my exercises uh, it's it's just a much easier stress free and stress free environment for me, but it could be a very me specific thing. But I am sharing with you guys the things that I've been doing. So yeah, I've joined a female gym and it has taken a lot of stress off of exercising and working out. And just like I said, just knowing my body, not putting too much stress around it. I romanticize my mornings as I showed you guys in my video of what I eat in a day. I take my morning slow, I take my day slow, and I don't overthink my diet. I don't overthink my nutrition and I don't overthink my workout. I follow this workout app called, it used to be called BB. Are. now it's called move with us i'll link it in the description box below and i follow they have programs if you want to do workouts at home or if you don't want to do workouts at the gym and i i just follow that and i don't put any stress around it i make sure that i am still enjoying life because in the past i would get so laser focused on losing weight and then I would overdo it and then I would get off track because I would wear myself out, I would wear myself thin and then I would just quit. So 
that's all I've been doing really guys to maintain. If you guys have any questions for me, please leave it in the comments section. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is at a underscore beauty underscore beast. And on TikTok, because I'm new there, I keep telling y'all, it's I am underscore Victoria Victoria. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.